Well, hi, everybody. Good Wednesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as we have a good news day today, but beyond that, not quite so much. So this is a day you'll certainly want to enjoy. It's fairly mild this morning. Most of us are in the 40s. In fact, some of you have even risen into the 50s as uh, we're picking up more of a west wind. It's not as strong as it has been the last few days, 5 to 15 miles per hour, and it stays in that general direction. It'll become more northwesterly with time through most of the day, and then late in the afternoon into the early evening, we'll turn more out of the south. That said, uh, plenty of sun expected, although we may mix in a couple of clouds in parts of central and eastern Nebraska. Uh, at worst, probably partly cloudy, but for most of the day, mostly sunny skies expected. So a really nice day today. I'm going to show you those temperatures in just a bit. Tonight, pretty quiet for the most part, but after midnight, here comes a cold front. And it'll probably pass through the Tri-Cities area just before sunrise tomorrow and through the rest of the area uh, during the uh, early to mid-morning hours. This frontal boundary is what brings us all the changes. It's coming straight out of northwest Canada. It's going to, uh, uh, first off, increase the winds behind the front. Similar to what we've had in the past couple of days. North and northwest winds will pick up 20 to 30, 35 miles per hour, gusting 40 to 45 miles per hour. Initially, those winds will actually take the warm air that we lose overnight, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and push it back to the surface. So temps may actually climb initially during the morning hours of your Thursday, but then they will start to drop off as that strong north and northwest wind continues to start to pull in colder air from the north here. And then along with that, we'll see an increase in clouds, maybe a few sprinkles The chance up north especially. The chance of rain not looking too good out there for Thursday. We will see those additional clouds, though, becoming partly to mostly cloudy. And the winds are actually going to stay very blustery Thursday night right into your Friday as well as the system is slow to move out of here. And that colder air will continue to just get get pushed further and further into the area as we get into Thursday night and Friday as the coldest air of the season moves in for the last day of the work week. So enjoy today. I cannot stress that enough. It's going to be the nicest day we see for the rest of the month, probably at least into the first part of November. You never know, maybe for the rest of the year. Low to mid-70s up north, mainly sunny skies, although, again, maybe mixing some clouds in there. I may need to adjust this forecast just a bit. A lot more sunshine out west, upper 70s, lower 80s. In the south, we're looking at temperatures mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Sunny skies, but again, maybe mixing in a few clouds around the Tri-Cities. And then to the east, I have sunny skies there. Again, I'm starting to think maybe I need to make it mostly sunny. There could be some clouds mixed in. Low to mid-70s for afternoon highs. Again, next seven days, it doesn't look so pretty after today. A high around 60 earlier tomorrow in the morning or late morning, but then the temperature will fall off during the afternoon hours. Those winds will be very strong, increasing clouds during your Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, still at least partly cloudy skies. And temperature-wise, well, the winds will still be a little strong out there. We're talking 15 to 20 mile per hour, 25 mile per hour winds Thursday night, and 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds for your Friday. So still very blustery out there. Lows down into the mid upper 20s, maybe some low 20s out west, and then a high on Friday only in the lower 40s. For some of you, maybe only in the upper 30s for highs on Friday. And with the winds as strong as they will be. Probably wind chills down in the 20s. Uh, not going to be a nice day out there. The winds do start to die back Friday night, and that's going to allow for the coldest night of the season so far. As we fall back into the lower 20s in the Tri-Cities area, we could see some upper teens off towards the west and northwest. Saturday is still not a very nice day out there. We do get some sunshine to return, but a high only in the mid to upper 40s. Sunday, we do see a little surge of warmer air. In fact, some models now, some of the recent forecast models are trying to push in some 60s now. So it may turn out to be a decent day on Sunday after a chilly start. But another cold front comes in Sunday night into Monday, and that's going to start to cool us back Sunday, bring in some of those stronger winds again. And Tuesday, there are signs now we may struggle temperature-wise for Halloween Tuesday. I have 47. There are a couple forecast models long range now for Tuesday, only going with lower 40s and upper 30s again. So it's likely going to be a chilly and somewhat breezy Halloween into Halloween uh, evening out there. And real quick, uh, most areas have already seen their freeze uh, warnings, watches, all that come to an end. But we do have freeze watches for early on Friday morning for north central Kansas, a hard freeze watch uh, out towards the uh, uh, southwest part of Nebraska. And Quick little glance, I'm running out of time here, but a quick little glance of the forecast out in West Lafayette, Indiana for the Purdue-Nebraska game. It'll be chilly there as well, small chance of rain for any of those that might be there before the game. Uh, otherwise, just mostly cloudy and temperatures in the low to mid 40s. So again, as I said, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to kind of wrap things up, but enjoy today. I will stress it over and over again. Enjoy it because it does not get much better from here. It's only going to get worse here the next couple of days. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have an enjoyable Wednesday, and God bless. Last.